if there are two treatments that both cost the same amount of money, but one will help six patients out of 100 and the other will help eight patients out of 100, then we want everybody to be on the treatment that's more likely to help them. One of the most extraordinary stories of recent years is the saga of Tamiflu, made by Roche, an anti-flu treatment. The UK government has spent almost half a billion pounds on stockpiling this treatment, three or four percent of the total annual NHS drugs budget. But we still don't know if this treatment is any better than placebo, any better than paracetamol, because we don't have access to the methods and results of all of the trials that have been conducted. The Cochrane Collaboration, who produced gold standard summaries of all of the data on any particular treatment, they have engaged in a five-year-long battle to try and get access to that information. They pioneered using the Freedom of Information Act legislation to try and get information from regulators. When they got the information from the regulators, they found that even regulators seem not to have had the methods and results of all of the trials. And astonishingly, the brief window of transparency that regulators were able to open is now being shut because of legal action by individual drug companies, which have been suing the regulators to stop them releasing the information they have. Roche haven't broken the law at any step of the way. And there is no reason to believe that Tamiflu is a particularly unusual case. The reality is people are entitled legally to withhold the results of clinical trials from doctors, researchers and patients. Doctors, researchers and patients need access to all of the evidence that has been collected in order to make truly informed decisions about which treatment is best.